All right, I am actually really excited today because I just got in the mail my new rear bag and a donut and a cleaning pad, but I'll show you all that in a second. This is all from a company called Dima RS. It is out of Europe. I can't remember which, but I want to say it's one of the old Eastern Bloc countries. Anyway, uh, Dima is the gentleman's name. RS stands for Rifle Systems. And if you've never heard of them, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, very few people in the U.S. know about them. But I will tell you, it is an amazing bag. I've used just about everything that's domestically produced. And, uh, and they're great bags. Edge would make good stuff. Protector makes good stuff. Seb makes good stuff. Um, you know, and those are kind of the three big ones that you'll find in the States. Um, you know, even if they're not all made here, those are sort of the big three in F class at least. But after mid-range nationals, the gentleman who won uh, actually was using one of these. And it sort of caught my eye and I really liked the way it looked and I liked what he had to say about it and, and I know who he is and stuff. And so I went ahead and ordered one. And uh, in the meantime, you might have noticed that I'd actually been borrowing one to try out. And this one is a 19 millimeter. Again, we're dealing with Europe, so it's all metric. This is a 19 millimeter spacing, which would be great if you have a three quarter inch stock uh, but when I ordered mine, and yes, I paid for all this, uh, when I ordered this, it was um, suggested based on me giving some feedback about how this 19 millimeter bag was working that I should go with the 17 millimeter. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how this works because I run a 5 8 inch stock uh, and their only options is like um, they do some smaller millimeters and then they do 15, 16, 17, 19, 25 and 19, again, is, is probably more suited to a, a three-quarter inch rear stock, whereas I'm excited to see what the 17 millimeter does. So I got to, you know, this goes back to a friend now. Uh, but I get to fill this up and have some fun. But I wanted to show you it before I got it all filled up. So this is how they come. They It came in just a really simple box, and, and it did take a little while coming out of Europe. Uh, I think it shipped on the 7th, and I got it today on the 23rd. So, you know, a little bit of shipping, customs, all the stuff we're dealing with these days. But let me show you something that's really neat about, uh, sorry, I had to get my Allen wrench. Let me show you something that really is what attracted me to this bag. It's this bunghole on the bottom that you can remove for filling and emptying. Now it still has a traditional ear in the back or flap, whatever you want to call it. So you still have a traditional uh, flap that you can use as well. Um, and I've, I've sort of topped off this other bag I've been borrowing. And um, I don't know, they're both convenient, but I really love the bunghole. And I will tell you, uh, just for fun, I emptied, he had heavy sand in the bag. So I emptied it all out and put in my light sand. Now I gotta switch it all back, which is gonna you know, be fun. But uh, using the bunghole, it's a lot faster. So when I was emptying the original one, I just did this, I put it over a, a shoe box and just let it drain out most of it. You'll also notice there's a small amount of space on the bottom here that is not hard. So this is all rigid, rigid wood. Uh, this bunghole is, uh, you know, tapped into the actual wood and then really nicely sewn all around it. Uh, they use a really nice leather. It does stretch a little, of course. Uh, I have had to, this one I've been borrowing for about a month. I have had to fill it up just a little bit because it is leather and it is going to stretch a little bit. But once um, once you kind of get it full, that's that's all there is to it. But uh, the other thing is there's, I don't know, 15, 20 different color combinations. Blue, yellow, red, black, green. Uh, you can get black and blue or blue and black or black and red or red, white and blue. I mean, like he'll mix and match just about any combination of base, bag and ears that you want. So. Uh, this one I happen to like the look of. I may actually uh, sand a little bit. Of, I may tape it off and, and uh, make this black because I would like it to be black. But really, at the end of the day, who cares? It's just going to get scratched up and dirty anyway. But uh, on his ear system, he's got this uh, sort of like the 3M tape sewn on the bottom. And then a really heavy-duty um, Cordura, um, sort of like a seatbelt material. But I can't tell exactly what it is. Uh, but I have noticed on this one I've been using that it holds up really well, and this just has some baby powder on it. But other than that, not a big deal. The uh, donut that they make is probably most similar to like what Seb has, 
and it is a dramatic departure from what Edgewood makes. Let me show you real quick. So this is the Edgewood uh, donut. It is a thinner, uh, like when full, it doesn't come up as high. Whereas this, it's a little more voluminous in terms of how you can fill it. Now mine, I keep mine pretty loose, um, but it is much more material. So some people really like that. I know uh, the gentleman who, um, who you know uses these bags on a regular basis. He really likes having the Dima bag or a donut because he really gets that bag and, and really kind of anchors it down in. Uh, I'm still undecided. It has nothing to do with the construction of the donut. It just has to do with personal preference between how the Edgewood works and uh, this one. But I will say, um, having talked to them and talked to my buddy who uses one of these, uh, he, he kind of gave me some tips and I am leaning towards uh, using this one only because what I was doing is, is simply setting it up on the line, putting my bag on top, and then calling it good. And, and he was telling me, no, really, the, the beauty of these larger donuts is not that it just sits on top like the Edgewood, but that you can really, you know, really get your bag anchored down in it. And it has shot a lot better once I started, you know, anchoring it down in the donut. So I do see the advantage. And um, now that I have my own uh, to play with, I'll probably um, mess around with uh, using this donut. So, uh, that just gives you a comparison between the two major kinds of donuts. And again, this is very similar to the Bigfoot that Seb does in terms of, um, kind of how it feels and looks. Um, I've had those as well. So, um, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, the other thing that I ordered from them is they make these stock covers and this is a cleaning cover and it's just made from their, a piece of leather and they, they sew in uh, a couple little rods on the side so that it weighs down on, the, on it. Uh, up until now, I've used like a two-gallon Ziploc bag, which works, but it's kind of a pain, and it, it doesn't fit great for, you know, it, it gets messy. Let's put it that way. It fits fine because you can roll it up. But this one here, you can just throw in your bag real easily. So if I go to matches, I'll be able to take this. So I'm excited about using it. I tried it real quick on top of my stock. And it has a real nice profile uh, in terms of not getting in the way of my cleaning rod or anything like that. And uh, because of the material, it should clean up real well. So I am excited about using that. I normally wouldn't. Um, I, I've seen some covers, like they actually slide over the stock like an oven mitt. And I haven't been thrilled about ordering any of those. But I like this idea because it's simple. Uh, it's easy to transport. And um, it's easy to clean. So... Uh, and, and I got the lighter color so that I could see if I got something on it that needs to be clean. They do make them in different colors, uh, and I could have gotten a blue, but I thought the gray would be good just for cleaning purposes. So anyway, I'm going to get this baby filled up, and we will take it out to the range and have some fun probably today or tomorrow. But let me get it filled up, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like when it's full. All right, and that is what it looks like when it's all full. So it took probably 20 minutes or so to get it filled up where I wanted, but um, really happy with it. Got my gun in it. Looks good. I'm going to head out to the range tomorrow and I will take my camera with me and I will show you just real quickly how the gun sits in it and how it rides. So anyway, I like the blue. I'm really happy with that. And this is going to stretch. Like I said, you can see um, I packed it tight, but it still obviously has some, some room to stretch out. So I'm just going to shoot it tomorrow, let it settle in a little bit. But one of the things I, I did forget to mention about these bags is they shoot differently even when they've stretched out. Like a lot of bags I've shot, when they're stretching out or you feel like you need to, to put some sand in them, they kind of get a little wonky and don't feel real good. Um, this one, even if it's not completely stuffed, uh, if you've got some room in it or whatever, it still shoots really nice. So that's kind of an added benefit that I found with them so far. But like I said, I'm excited to shoot one that matches my my keel a little better. And uh, we'll head out tomorrow and see how it looks.
All right, so you got to see this thing in action. Uh, you can see how stable it is. Obviously, with the donut, it helps you know it helps you level it out. And um, you know, ultimately, I've used this. Uh, so let's see. Since I filled this up and shot the beginning part of this video, I've shot on this four times now, roughly a hundred rounds, maybe 150 rounds, something like that. And you can see I haven't filled it since, but you can see it's starting to stretch just a little bit, which is what I want. And, um, you know, there's a little bit, little bit of give to it now, which it didn't have when I first filled it up. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to get this filled up. It probably won't stretch too much more. It's going to stretch a little, but um, ultimately that first kind of give is where you're going to have the most room in it. The ears, um, the ears stretched a little bit because of the material on top. They don't stretch as much, but you're going to get a little stretch here and a little stretch there. Um, so I can feel these need just a hair more, but... Um, you know, ultimately, I think it works great. So I'm really, really happy with it. The 17 millimeter was perfect. If you saw how my gun fit in here, it fit exactly how I wanted uh, without any extra slop. The 19 millimeter works okay because of how the ears are made, but I do feel like the 17 millimeter for my 5.8 stock works better. That 19 millimeter would be fantastic for a three quarter inch keel. So uh, anyway, if you're looking for something different, looking to change out your rear bag, uh, I would highly recommend these. Uh, I think they run about 200 bucks is what I paid. Uh, I don't remember how much the donut was, but uh, you know, the fact that you can get these in different colors is cool, but really the design is what I like. Um, I've had longer ones like the Bigfoot um, and like the Edgewood size, and those are great too, but for my shooting style, I like having a little more room in front and put my hand. And I just found that when I was using those larger bags, I was tending to hit them just a little bit. So this is a great balance for me. It gives me good ear spacing, um, good ear protection, uh, not too much, not too little. Uh, you know, uh, for right now, uh, I, I just say it's perfect for what I want to do between the handle, the level, everything. So um, there you go. Hope you enjoy. Talk to you guys later.